Monetary economics is the branch of economics that studies the different competing theories of money. It provides a framework for analyzing money and considers its functions, such as medium of exchange, store of value and unit of account. It considers how money, for example fiat currency, can gain acceptance purely because of its convenience as a public good. It examines the effects of monetary systems, including regulation of money and associated financial institutions and international aspects. The discipline has historically prefigured, and remains integrally linked to, macroeconomics. Modern analysis has attempted to provide micro foundations for the demand for money and to distinguish valid nominal and real monetary relationships for micro or macro uses, including their influence on the aggregate demand for output. Its methods include deriving and testing the implications of money as a substitute for other assets and as based on explicit frictions. History Topic: 1500s to 1700s Serious interest in the concepts behind money occurred during the dramatic period of inflation in the late 15th to early 17th centuries known as the Price Revolution, during which the value of gold fell precipitously, sometimes fluctuating wildly, because of the importation of gold from the New World, primarily by Spain. At the end of this period, the first modern texts on monetary economics were beginning to appear. During the 18th century, the concept of bank notes became more common in Europe. David Hume referred to it as this new invention of paper. In 1705, John Law in Scotland published Money and Trade Considered, which examined the failure of metal-based money during the previous 150 years. He proposed replacing that system with a land bank system of paper money based on the value of real estate. Though he succeeded in getting this proposal implemented. However, his bank failed due to a bubble of speculation collapsing into extreme inflation, perhaps because he failed to take the lessons of the Spanish Price Revolution seriously. In 1720, Isaac Gervais wrote The System or Theory of the Trade of the World. He criticized mercantilism and state supported credit for the inflation problems of his era. Della Moneta was published by Ferdinando Galliani in 1751, and is arguably the first modern text on economic theory. It was printed 25 years before Adam Smith's more famous book, The Wealth of Nations, which touched on some of the same topics. Della Moneta covered many modern monetary concepts, including the value, origin, and regulation of money. Presumably because of the previous period of unreliable monetary value, he carefully examined the possible causes for money's value to fluctuate. The year following, 1752, a The Balance of Trade was published by Hume. He argued that one need not worry about the import or export of goods creating a surplus or shortage of either money or goods, because an excess or shortage of money will always increase or decrease demand, until equilibrium is reached. In modern economic terms, this is as equilibration through the price specie flow mechanism. Research areas Traditionally, research areas in monetary economics have included 
empirical determinants and measurement of the money supply, whether narrowly, broadly, or index aggregated, in relation to economic activity. Empirical determinants of the demand for money, credit theory of money, also called debt theory of money, are monetary economic theories concerning the relationship between credit and money. Debt dash deflation and balance sheet theories, which hypothesize that overextension of credit associated with a subsequent asset price fall generate business fluctuations through the wealth effect on net worth. Monetary aspects studied by central banks, the monetary fiscal policy relationship to macroeconomic stability, the political economy of financial regulation, and monetary policy. Monetary implications of the asset price macroeconomic relation asterisk the quantity theory of money, monetarism, and the importance and stability of the relation between the money supply and interest rates, the price level, and nominal and real output of an economy, monetary impacts on interest rates and the term structure of interest rates lessons of monetary, financial history transmission mechanisms of monetary policy as to the macroeconomy neutrality of money vs. Money illusion as to a change in the money supply, price level, or inflation on output tests, testability, and implications of rational expectations theory as to changes in output or inflation from monetary policy. Monetary implications of imperfect and asymmetric information and fraudulent finance game theory as a modeling paradigm for monetary and financial institutions. Possible advantages of following a monetary policy rule to avoid inefficiencies of time inconsistency from discretionary policy. See also Notes Topic General References Handbook of Monetary Economics, Elsevier, Friedman, Benjamin M., and Frank H. Hahn, ed. 1990. v. 1 Link for Description and Contents and Chapter Outline Previews, Blank, 1990. v. 2 Links for Description and Contents and Chapter Outline Previews. Friedman, Benjamin, and Michael Woodford, 2010. V. 3A and 3B links for description and and chapter abstract and talk, Borton, James R., and Elmas R. Wicker, 1975. The Principles of Monetary Economics. Brunner, Carl, and Alan H. Meltzer, 1993. Money and the Economy, Issues in Monetary Analysis, Cambridge. Description and Chapter Previews, pp. xx. Clower, Robert W., ed. 1969. Monetary Theory, Selected Readings, Harmonsworth, Penguin. Eden, Benjamin, 2005. A Course in Monetary Economics, Sequential Trade, Money, and Uncertainty. Description. Gale, Douglas, 1982. Money, in Equilibrium, Cambridge University Press, Cambridge Economic H and Books, 349 pp. ISBN 978-0-521-28900-9. Description and Preview. Blank, 1983. Money, in Disequilibrium, Cambridge Economic Handbooks, 382 pp. ISBN 978-0-521-26917-9. Description and Preview. Goodhart, Charles, 1989. Money, Information and Uncertainty, 2nd ed. MIT Press. Description and Chapter Titles. Grandmont, Jean Michel, 1985. Money and Value, A Reconsideration of Classical and Neoclassical Monetary Economics, Econometric Society Monographs, v. 5, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-31364-3. Description and Preview. 
Handa, Jagdish, 2007. Monetary Economics, Second Ed. Routledge. Description and Preview. Harris, Lawrence, 1981. Monetary Theory. New York, McGraw Hill. Hicks, John R., 1967. Critical Essays in Monetary Theory, Chapter Preview Links. Oxford. The New Palgrave Dictionary of Finance and Money, 1992. 3v. Description. The New Palgrave Dictionary of Economics Online, 2008. Abstract links for «Monetary Economics» alphabetical and «Monetary». Rabin, Alan A. 2004. Monetary Theory MPG Books, London. Arrow Page Searchable Chapter Previews. Star, Ross M., ed. 1989. General Equilibrium Models of Monetary Economies, Studies in the Static Foundations of Monetary Theory. Economic Theory, Econometrics, and Mathematical Economics. Academic Press. p. 351. ISBN 978-0-12-663970-4. Walsh, Carl E. 2003. Monetary Theory and Policy, 2nd ed., MIT Press. ISBN 0-262-23231-6. Description and Chapter Preview Links. Woodford, Michael Interest and Prices, Foundations of a Theory of Monetary Policy. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-01049-8. Topic: External links. Journal of Money, Credit and Banking. Journal of Monetary Economics. NBER Working Papers. Links to gel classes of abstracts or downloads for macroeconomics and monetary economics, including Sad Face Gel E4 Money and Interest Rates. GEL, E5 Monetary Policy, Central Banking, and the Supply of Money and Credit Presentation of Money, Credit and Finance and Slideshow What is Money? and Slideshow http www.slideshare Net, Mitch Green, Lesson 1 What is Money? Hash BTN Next